Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. If you have any questions, can you please check the description below first to see if it's already been answered and for some useful links. Thank you. To date, there's only been three Facebook rat meets and the video of that came out in 2016. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. And the night after the first and third meet, we decided to go out and see if we could put some more pressure on the rats. And this is a video of what happened on those nights. So here we go. This is the night after the first Facebook rat meet. They got a fair paste in the night before. Here's Bro with his Air Arms S510, shooting the Super Mags, the same as I use, 177 calibre. Do a great job on the rats. They were quite skittish, not surprisingly. There were still a few wandering about. They didn't get them all by any means. But they did put them under a lot of pressure, and it did show on the night. They didn't seem to be quite so keen to venture out, and they hung in the nettles quite a lot. It's always difficult in the nettles. Never quite sure if they got a branch in front of their face or not. Just pay to watch them for a while, just in case there's a bit of livestock in there with them. No doubt in that one though. Probably knocks that one straight over. Floated it over the top of the nettles, straight into the side of its head. There we go, bit of a delayed reaction. Typical kickabout. No problems there. As you can see, it's the upturned trailer. Just recently, we've tended to get a lot more on top of there. It's up the side of the one shed. Nettles have been hacked back. Made a bit of a resurgence. Quick look in the sheds. You can see the eyes flashing in the background and running around. No chance of a shot in there, though. This is more like it. Let's track this one. Good headshot there. Looks like a half grown one to me. Does it matter half grown or full grown? They all go down from a good headshot. Nicely done there, bro. This one's actually on the roof, believe it or not. They do climb quite well, and very often we catch them in the trees eating berries. That one didn't know what hit it. Probably had no idea it was being watched. Just goes to show where you're looking on the ground. Never quite know what's going on above your head. This is pretty much how the evening went. Spotting them at distance, neither killing them clean or missing them. Tended to stay undercover and by the nettles. Very frustrating this is. Very skittish. Not sure if they've sussed out pros there, or whether they're just still nervous from the previous night. There would have been plenty of noise and plenty of pressure. Now I think if you make any noise at all, it tends to put them on edge. All you can do is scan them around and pop them off where you can see them. So it's done a bit of a thrash around. Nothing wrong with that headshot. My bro's lining up just to take another shot by the look of it. Just be on the safe side. I'm trying to work out where the head is. Stick another pellet into it. That'll do. And again, back to the sheds. Not surprisingly, the activity level and confidence is a lot higher in the back of these areas. They feel a lot safer. Very difficult to get a shot on them. Bro's looking. Have to thread them through that wire if he does take a shot. Not sure if he hit that one or whether it ricocheted or not. Difficult to see. Back outside again. Another eye in the nettles, oddly enough. Takes some lining up, it does. It looks like he's identified the head on it. Quick reload. You can see it kick about. Nothing wrong with that. This is pretty much the last rat of this particular session for Bro. Rather helpful, he jumps out. Bro shoots it a second time. Over to me now. 
I'm on my Theban Rapid 177, so 12 foot pains. I'm launching the RWS Supermag, same as my bro. And this is my effort. First rat of the evening. I'm lining up on it. And hit it straight in the head. There's a marked difference in the sound of that rifle compared to these days, anyway. I did have a regulator fitted after by Kev G. Did a brilliant job on it. Rat number two for me. Did the muzzle of focus. Just whacked it in the side of the head. It is dead in there. Always keep watching just in case you see it kick out. Quite a bit of IR on there. Because of the upgraded camera, but you would have seen the modification video by now. If you haven't, have a look back. It's one of the last ones of 2016. In the one sat up in the grass. Jumps around quite a bit this one. The shot didn't go too well, so I shoot it again, straight through the heart and lungs, aim at the shoulder, 177 pellet goes straight through, causing all sorts of damage. And ends up with one dead rat. And after another wander, I look into the one bit of a field. And I can see absolutely loads of rats. Struggling to see them elsewhere, but then you come across a big pile of them out feeding. I know full well, as soon as I shoot one of those, the rest will disappear in an awful hurry. So I'm to make sure of the shot. They haven't seen me, they have no idea I'm there. But I can see them perfectly well. I'm looking for one that's pretty static, keeping its head still. Just like that. This is what we need. And then they start to push the head forward. And I've shuffled my feet there to get a better stance to take the shot. Straight on head shot. Nope. You couldn't write it, could you? So back over to this group. Let's see if we can pick one out that's feeding correctly and offering me a shot at the head. I don't want them to run away and die elsewhere, I want them to die on the spot. I've had to recock my rifle there because I've been target shooting, except it was the boredom before I found this pile of rats. I catch that one, front part of the head, kicks around the corner, when I go around to investigate. I have to give it a second shot, but all's good. Some more eyes in the nettles. Always dodgy they are. Got to make sure it's a rat. I'm pretty sure they are. I can see the eyes pointing forward. All I have to do is wait for the opportune moment to pull the trigger. Keep staring at it. Hopefully one of them will stick his head out. Quite frustrating. Apart from the fact that those other ones were right out in the open. The majority of them have been hiding away. This will do though. I do believe that could be a miss. This is more like it. One out in the open, sat still. Just needs to be lined up on and shot. That's more like it. Good impact. Doesn't pay when they're moving around. As per usual, short delay. Then the muscle spasms set in. Brain is pretty much toast. I'm scanning around again. Quite a lot of vegetation. Eventually find some by a shed. Managed to pick his head out there. Skimmed through the grass. Rolled him straight under his back. That's pretty much exactly what I want to achieve. Don't mind him kicking about a bit. You're like a good headshot. And there's Bro down on the field scanning away. Which is pretty much what I'm doing. Walking around, setting up on the sticks, scanning an area of known activity, looking for some eye shine. And that's more like it, a bit of eye shine. Got to look at it first to make sure it's a rat. It's looking very much like one. There's an awful lot of metal in front of its head. Yes, it's a big fat rat that one is. No shot on there. Sort of hoping the activity would take a turn for the better. Maybe they'd be a bit more active. Wandering round outside of the nettles a bit more. A bit like that, really. Perfect shot on. Just got to line up on it. And then you get that result. Quick reload. See if there's any nosy neighbours about. Nothing much happening, is there? 
Didn't get much activity off this one. Does amaze me the different results you get from a headshot. Here's another one. Thinks he's safe. Sat on the nettles. Slowly but surely line up on him. Straight on headshot. I'm changing my mag now. Fear but rapid won't let you cycle the bolt once the last pellet's gone, so you know full well you've shot it. We carry another two in my pocket, just for this uh, type of scenario. Hopefully, get a second rat here. Might work out where the head is exactly. Looks more like it. Show yourself, son. I think I missed that one. So the trouble is, did the heads forward? Sometimes they'll retract it very quickly. Never mind. Another quick look in the sheds for me. Still activity in there. This is pretty much the last activity I saw this day. Not surprising really. The amount of pressure they were put on the previous evening. There are a few more gone down. They're stuck on the bonfire ready for incineration by the owner. I think he's quite happy with the total. None of these will be taking their fill of his chickens, eggs, feed all chicks. There's a few pictures I took on my way around. Can't remember what order they was in, so I stuck them at the end. You see the areas they were being shot in. Quite long grass, quite a lot of nettles about. The odd one out in the open. Which isn't a bad thing. Some we thought they were safe. We didn't get a very huge tally. It's very difficult to work out where they were as well to retrieve them. That's what we managed to pick up. We had a few more than that though. The second rat meet wasn't a very successful affair. Very difficult indeed. So we never bothered with going out after that one. But the third one was very successful. You saw the picture at the beginning. 300 odd rats taken. And there was still lots of activity. So myself, bro and bruv all come out to have a go on the farm the following night. And this is at that particular session. You see darkness is falling. The bro's up first with his Air Arms S510. And the upturn trailer has a big fat rat on it. He has to watch this one climb around a bit first. Till it pauses. It sticks a pellet in its head. Then it has a bit of a thrash around in the confines of the side of the trailer. He's off the mark. Quite a lot of activity this evening. Quite amazing really considering the pressure they put under the night before. Here comes another one. Same location. I do believe you missed that one. Unlucky bro. Have another go. Go on. I think he missed that one as well. Never mind. It is the nature of rat shooting. Sometimes they pull their head in. Sometimes you have a wobble. Must have seen something here. Or is he just scanning about? A lot of the vegetation has died back fairish. Nothing's showing itself here really. Different kettle of fish in the sheds though. There's one looking straight at him. Could be a good shot on. Just like that. Another one seems to have his back to him. I'm not entirely sure if that's a dead rat or what it is. It looks very much like a rat to me. It didn't even flinch. So I'm not sure what happened there. I've got no video recording of him shooting it. Never mind. He's busy tracking this one. Just inside one of the pens. See the chicken below. Moving about. No problem there though. Just got to get this one to stick its head up. This is where you've got to be patient. It can be quite frustrating. The gaps on these wires are quite large. It's fairly easy to float a pellet through them. You know the pellet's going to go where the crosshair's going to go. So you can pretty much put it on the gap you can see through in a vital area of the rat and then send the pellet down the line. This one's not sticking his head up. It's like a lunar landscape under there. Oh, tempting. Will he stick his head up? Will the chicken suddenly wake up and cause a nuisance of itself? Highly unlikely though. Once they go to sleep, they tend to stay asleep. Not like those suicide ducks. This rat's been anything but suicidal to the point where Bro's got bored now. 
He's wandering around looking for other candidates. It's more like it. No. He must have been getting pretty frustrated because I'm pretty frustrated myself watching it. Very annoying. There's a bit of wire directly across the vital spot there. You could have probably taken a shot, but didn't see much point with the wire in the way. Then it gets away. Can you imagine how annoyed he was by that? Let's pick the sticks up and shuffle to the right now. He's got a better angle on this one up in the corner. See the swinging feeder where some have been spooked off. That one disappeared before he had a chance for a shot. This one stopped for a sniff. It's a very bad choice indeed. No movement on that one. Very strange. I'm normally much happier when I see a bit of helicopter tail. At least I know what's going on. Here we go. Sat still rat. 177 flathead. Knocks it straight on its side. That's a bit of a kick about now. Quick look around. Nothing else in this location. Sonia move. You see a big pile of them sat out. Look at that. All different sizes. All spread out, feeding. Not a very good shot that. I think he's hit it through the neck. Give it a second one, that's more like it. See so you get another opportunity. Is that one gonna play ball? I think either way then. Still sat there. So the shot's not too good. Let's go and finish that one off. Two rats down. And the next shot. There's a rat, base of the nettles, and it's already been shot. Oh dear, never mind. These are quite obviously alive though. Except for that one. Nice quick recock, line up on the second rat. I think he shot under that one. Never mind, he got one. This could be the same one again, head sticking out. A bit more care this time. And zaps it straight in the side of the head. Bro's last rat of the session. Quite clearly see it's dead. Nicely done, Bro. Over to me now, and I have a much better time of it than Bro did. I ended up shooting a field where over 200 rats were shot but only the previous evening. As you can see from here, a lot of activity under the shed. I've baited up. Now I realise I haven't cocked after my test shots. Missed that rat. Because of being sloppy. Little bit of a wait though. One of these will stick his head out far enough in a minute, hopefully. See those rats there? I think they were previously shot the night before and not picked up. Very deceptive, they could be quite away under those pallets and you get close to them, you can't see without kneeling down in the muck, which is no one's going to do in their right mind. This is more like it. Only sat there for about five minutes. Just got dark. Lots of activity already. There we go. Straight in the top of the head. Half grown rat, I'm off the mark. Brother's out this evening as well, but he wasn't filming. He whacked a few. There's another one in the bushes. You can tell by the sound of the air rifle, it's a completely different sound than it was before. Again, that's because it's got a regulator and tune from Kev G. Lot of activity in this hedgerow. This is exactly where Tony was shooting them. He did over a hundred the night before. These hedgerows are quite thick, got quite tough wire, full of thorn bushes, and the rats are dug in quite hard into them. And they dig under the fences and they come out of their burrows, they run up then hedgerows, 
they pop into whichever pen they want to get into and steal the feed and they, consequently they feel quite safe the body shot that little rat jumped in the air and died behind that bush oh, I missed that one I think here comes another one sticking his head out of the hole Let's stick a pellet straight in the top of it doesn't kick around that one not an awful lot anyway we're still looking for candidates so the nettles have died quite a way back there we go another stuck his head in line never quite know where the rat's going to pop up never knew that was coming did he two on the bounce there quite happy with that looking for number three I didn't get any opportunity there had to move I spot this one coming out for the feeder scattered around just as so I pull the trigger pulls his head back and hit him pretty much through the eyes not good take him with a second shot to the body if you hit him properly through the head there shouldn't be any movement of the head not any conscious movement this is more like a straight on head shot I like these a lot that one's kicked over to the side the shot was good though here's another quite fat rat sat in the open this is the trouble they're moving around you hear them squabbling or some sort of rat politics going on somewhere it's what we normally do when we go shooting them at night get set up take our test shots and wait till we hear that type of squabbling behavior then we know they're on the move then we go looking for them here we go this one's coming out into the open targets everywhere you wouldn't believe that 300 rats were shot on this place last night in a marked contrast to the other session we turned up after they're really active none of them seem to care this is more like it I totally missed that one put one over the top of his head didn't miss him on that one though one of those shots bodies to the left it's been the nettles the straight on head shot no kicking off that one quite happy with that this one has a bit of a roll around with a delayed one I have a scan about what it's making a bit of noise very often the commotion caused by one rat causes another one to come and see what's going on so when the zoom out I'm looking for another nosy neighbour what's that is that another one yeah it is do I get a shot no I don't I was pretty much sure that the activity would be shoot one have a kick about and get another one to come and look at it not sitting still I left that one waste of time trying to take the shot this one's quite still though it's got its head down spread the feed out good wallop straight to the top of the head pellets normally go straight through with a lame helicopter tail quite clear that there's no need for a second shot I put the camera off and back on again so I've seen movement I see a few corpses dotted about policy this evening is not to go and pick them up oh dear what was about to happen there I do believe I just shot a female no no she's dead you dirty boy get off shame I couldn't have done the double there like they say they breed like rats it's always good to get the females if possible cut the numbers down I was hoping he'd come back out 
He obviously thought better. Nothing in the hedgerow. Let's pick an eye out. I've already seen where the head is. I know for what it's a rat. I worked it out before I bothered to put the recorder on. A wire mesh. There's no obstacle for a pellet, the size of a 177. Goes straight through. A lot of these rats are difficult to retrieve, and some near impossible due to the thorn bushes. Still a lot of activity I'm catching. This is the beauty of throwing some feed on the ground. I used to pile it up, but I tend to throw it out in the same areas, just like a farmer would be sowing grain on a field if you're doing it by hand, if you can imagine that. Then you get the same sort of smell when none of the rats are fighting over a pile of grain. They assert in dominance, they all browse and feed nicer together, they present themselves much better for a shot. It soon became apparent to me that most of the areas that produced last night are producing this night. I just kept making the rounds, going from one to the other to the other. Stay there, see if I can take one or two. Catch them with the head stuck out like that. Quite a brutal headshot. Sniffing a corpse on the floor. Kicked into the nettles, but I'm happy with that. A lot of the time I was getting at least two opportunities per area. A lot of movement, just wait there a minute or two, another one stick his head up. And knock it straight back down again. Good sounding wallop. Nothing else to see here. We we'll move to another location. Quite a load of youngsters here. All look pretty nervy. Quite happily body shot these things. Like a very large mace. We're going to mess about, not sit still. When I go for a body shot on these, I try and shoot them straight to the shoulder. Seems to do a lot more damage that way. Still prefer a headshot though, just like that. It's a bit bigger rat. Did I miss that one? I think I did. Can't win them all, can you? Some of these areas that we were producing last night, I battered down some of the vegetation prior to putting the feed down. And it seemed to work wonders in picking out the rats, especially the stuff on the hedge line nearest to me, poking up nettles. Didn't get them all, but I got an awful lot of them. That's the type of reaction you'll see from a headshot on a rat, especially in the thick part of the head. Seems to be getting a kick off the back legs and it seems to somersault onto their back. Pays particular attention to the back area. I did have bait out in front. I was sort of hoping the smell would drag them to the fence so they were looking through like prisoners. I could snipe them through the holes. This is more like it. So when they come for a feed bowl like that, it's usually grab a mouthful and run off. This is not what you want really. I should time that one just right. The one's panic. That's like, what's going on? I'm trying to sleep here. It was pretty much a huge relief the ducks tended to sit still. We had put a lot of them away just to make the rats a bit easier to track. Can't go that way because there is a duck sat there. Quite just with the little ones. But they are in exposed territory. I should catch that one just behind the ear. And the duck's on the move now. Was sat quite comfortable before. 
I think I must have disturbed it with a pellet flying past its head. It was quite stationary. If it's wandering around, I wouldn't have taken the shot. Same bits of hedgerow again. Very productive indeed. I'd hate to hazard a guess just how many rats there are in this area. There seem to be plenty though. Gotta wait for another target to present itself. Just like that. Pick a hole, put the pellet through it. Plenty of corpses about. Does pay to linger when you know the activities like this. You can see this one coming forward. Rodents always seem to be very nosy. So nosy, in fact, they could get themselves killed. That'll do. Off for a wander again. Some of these open areas are quite good. There was a body shot in the end. I was aiming for just going the ear. I knew I'd hit it in the body, so I shot it again. But the small rats, they seem to roll from a body shot real easy. I have bumped into Bro and Brev. They said I've just been doing well. Go back to the car. Had a little breather. Come back. This one's playing hide and seek with me. Still trying to shoot it. It's really having a laugh, isn't it? Dodged two of them. So give up on that one. Go looking for another candidate somewhere else. Coming up is my first ever deliberate double rat headshot. The post's in the way, I can't quite see that big one looking straight at me. So I shuffle sideways and put the crosshairs on its head. And this other one jumps in front, turns round, and I pretty much know exactly where the other one's head is. So I was very pleased with the outcome of that one. It's an eye in the distance, just sticking out of a hole. Not sure if I got that or not. Pellet whacked into the mud quite hard. Quick pan back. Here comes another victim. Off goes the safety catch. Not going to stay still. No, he doesn't like it much himself and scampers away. He's a lucky boy, that one. I'm in the mood to shoot a few rats tonight. So he's sticking his head up from a hole right at the base of the fence. I think I'm going to hit him. Looks like it. A bit of a fit there in the hole. Look at this one. Sat right out. Didn't even flinch from the shot. That was a body shot as well. That's precisely why I don't like going for body shots normally. The only reason I went for one is it looks like it's quartering away. After a couple of shots. It's not very good at all. Very sloppy. I'm not happy with that at all. I think that's the one. Pretty sure it is anyway. Give another one to the body so I can see its head. I do believe it's succumbed to the other shots. And that in a nutshell is precisely why I like headshots all the time. I've been getting quite a lot of comments why didn't you shoot the body? So I thought I'd give it a go. And see the results, make your own mind up whether you think headshots or body shots are the best option. On the small rats, it's not a problem at all. As soon as you get to the bigger rats, if you don't hit the exact right spot, it doesn't work. Catch them with a good headshot though, and they roll over quite easily. Tail in the air, bit helicopter tail, job done. Getting quite a few doubles now. There's that many rats around. It's unbelievable, really. Place is heaving with them. There we go. There's the candidate. Whack that one. Shot was good. I know it was because I went and picked it up. And still they keep coming. Back up to the first shed. It's the advantage of putting the bait just outside. You ideally want the bait quite close to structure. Just so they feel safe enough they can run back in. That one showed no hesitation at all. 
even though it's got a bit later though you can only assume that early on they look a bit more worrisome so I shot them two rats one still in the feed tray target this area a bit more just gonna get them to sit still and again that one managed to scamper off to the right folds up about a meter away from where I shot it they do work the body shots but no good if they want to get into nettles I'd like to be able to retrieve everyone if possible or at least have a confirmation that they're dead that one was so all's good it's more like it it's got a headshot on one of these hopefully that's no good at all turn his back on me no Texas heart shots Ooh, there we go I think I a high body shot, neck shot even another one's not listening to what is going on these are all quite small rats and it took three shots to roll that one with a body contrast that with a straight on head shot tell me if you think the body shots are better than the head shots make plenty of comments about them they decide to go for the smaller rats with body shots this evening just to see what would happen and it pretty much confirmed my own theories on where you should be shooting it might move around a little bit with a headshot it's quite obviously more of a problem with a body shot unless you get it spot on the money if you can see the head perfectly well there's no reason why you shouldn't shoot it it's not like he's got antlers or something you want to put on the wall, is it? Or a head you want as a trophy, unless you're some sort of weirdo, which I'm not. Don't mind damaging the skull of a rat. The action was pretty good this evening. Didn't stop there mega late, maybe three to four hours total. I just whack one in the bushes there. I see something there. I'm trying to work out where it is. It's more like it. Made it the target in the end. It's difficult to fish them at them nettles. Especially if they kick back into them a bit. It's more like it. There we go. Nice headshot. Stuck it up in the air. I stuck a pellet in it. No two ways about that. That's another one. Another headshot. Much prefer those. So for the body shop brigade out there, I don't think I should be doing too many more of those. Maybe on small rats in certain situations. Still surprised the quarter in away when it took so many shots to drop it. Usually shoot them in the armpit and they go down fairly well. Most of the occasion they weren't doing so good on the body shots. Headshots are different kettle of fish though. As always, they do a good job. I'm just going to track this one and hope he shows me his head. I'm not about to shoot the body. Not after what I've seen so far this evening. Nice headshot's what I want. There we go. Pick that out real well. And a second for good measure. Does that look jittery to you? Look pretty nervous to me. Doesn't look like they're going to play ball anymore. That's a dead one. That's a two-way shot. That's no good. Maybe if I had a FAC 25 cal I might do it. Not a sub-12 foot pound 177. He's just jumped up and shot off to the side. All a lot more jittery now. I think the word's got out. The squirrel hunter channel back in town. Very jittery. Never mind. Considering we had 300 the night before. Probably another 60 tonight. 
not bad at all. And that was my last round of the session. Got quite lucky with that one. It's paused a little bit too long on the way to the feeder. That's all we've retrieved. Not a bad haul. The owner was very pleased. And I hope you are too with our first video of 2017. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.